Right, great little takeaway tip. So backswing, pull back as you take that club away from the ball. So swing sent to me through my Instagram, at crossfieldmark, give us a follow if you don't already, and you can send your swing and get involved with these videos. Um, I want this player to think about trying to not show me their hands and their face in this takeaway so much. So we do see this club turning up to the sky, we get to see the hands in that takeaway very early, and then as they go back, we've got a club face which is gonna generally be open to the path, so we see the change of direction on the path, Again, face laid way open with loft. So again, this is gonna send the ball up in the air or have a face very open to a path, giving those left to right shots that you don't want. You can see his path wanting to drag for him to the right. So his shots would be right to left because obviously he's a left-handed golfer. Takeaway tips to try and just change the pattern of this swing. So I'm just gonna hit a shot as my standard swing here. So my face to the path was 3.1 open. So it's giving me a little bit of a push fade, but a bit of a fade with my irons, which I quite like at the moment. The loft on that last shot was presented at 22 degrees, which is basically my second six iron, which is like a five iron. So I'm now gonna do one as I pull the club back. I'm gonna show you the FJ pad on my grip, on my glove here. So I'm really gonna present this glove to the camera and hit shot. Bit of a toe strike. So face was now open to the path by 12 degrees and I've not got, now got 27 degrees of loft. So I'm really presenting a lot more loft on that shot. As I pull back and start to rotate my wrist, turn that club around the axis of the shaft this way, I'm adding lots of loft and I'm struggling to control the face, which is always gonna make me wanna pull my path to me to my left, for you to the right as a left-handed golfer. Simple ideas, let's get some takeaways where you feel like you're facing the club up to the ball for a lot longer. So the face, my head of the club is facing that ball for a lot longer. And I'm almost feeling like I'm turning this FJ pad now down more to the ground. So all wrist angle base. Now where this gets confusing is the club goes from pointing down to the ground. And as you take it up, it starts pointing up to the sky. So the idea for you is you want to be more at the ground at the takeaway and at the top of the backswing feeling like it's more up to the sky. So you're flipping that club on its head. So we want it moving more this way as an exaggeration, opposed to your way, which is rotating it around the axis of the shaft. And when it gets to the top, the face is pointing more down at the ground where the toe is, and then the face is pointing over your head. Most success I have with students with this, get the left hand on the club, so your top hand, so for you it'll be your right hand, and just pull that club back without your right hand, so your bottom hand, and you'll feel if you put a twist in there or not. A couple of practice swings, feeling like that club is to the ground, or to the ball, up to the sky. So facing the ball, up to the sky, and then jump in there, try and hit a shot. Same ideas. So the more I put that feeling in, so I'll show you the numbers on that one before I do the last one where I'll really take it to extremes. Face now only 2.7 open to a path where originally my standard shot was three, and the loft has come down to 20. So I'm taking lots of loft off again. Two degrees more than my original shot, by turning that club around the axis of the shaft that way as I make my backswing and downswing. What I really like students to try and do when they do this is take it to the extreme. So I'm gonna really face it down to the ball for as long as possible and really turn it up to the sky because when you get someone who's serious, kind of serial cuts the ball, you get them hitting a few pull draws, hooks, anything that turns the other way for them, their face just lights up. They're like, wow. Did I do that? How did I do that? Having that awareness of the face and in turn the loft. So there's my really turn down one. Ball's gonna go low left. So I'm really working the club that way as I pull it back and then really pointing it up at the sky at the top. Loft now 10 degrees, face closed 6.9 to the path. I always think for me as a golfer, 6.9 closed. I can get there and I could probably get more to whatever it was open. I can't even remember what the number it was open. That gives me a lot of stops in between to try and find. It gives me a great range of shots that I can use on a golf course. So knowing how to get it wrong the other way sometimes is as much as a skill of knowing where to get it in that perfect position. Because I do lessons and I get students go, oh, so you want me to get it there, so is that correct? And I'll give them an idea of where they want to get it, but I'll say, actually, I don't care if you get it there. And I kind of don't care if you get it there as well like you're doing. What I care about is that you don't know that you're getting it there 
and you don't know what that feels like. I want you to know what it all feels like. Because then you've got all the skills. Then you can hook it around trees, slice it around trees, go over trees, go under trees, hit a straight one. Finding your kind of stops at either end and trying to then bring them into a, a central one that gives you a more repeatable shot is actually the biggest skill. Let me know if that helps. I know people work on the perfect takeaway for a long time in their lives and dolphin careers. I love getting students to work on imperfect takeaways, but both sides, because if you give them both sides of that story so often, they start finding that middle ground and controlling their shots. In that comment section down below, let me know if this helps. If you want to see more swing fixes, let me know as well. Give us a thumbs up. I can tell by how many of you are thumbsing up the video. If you're subscribed to the channel already, give that little bell a ring so you don't miss maybe your next swing fix if you're sending me those swings through Instagram. See you all soon.